Apple Valley, California, the Valley of Apples. So you're thinking about moving to Apple Valley, California, and here are the pros and cons. I'm Derek DeVille, the owner of Realty One Group Empire. I have three offices here locally to serve you. So if you have any real estate needs, you want to reach out to me and I can connect you with a fantastic agent of mine. So let's talk about Apple Valley, California. No, it's not the Valley of Apples. As a matter of fact, there's like no apple trees in Apple Valley. <laughs> so where is Apple Valley? It is east of the 15 freeway, three hours south of Las Vegas, and you're about an uh, hour, hour and a half north of Ontario. So that's kind of where you're at. Let's talk about some of the pros of Apple Valley. Affordability, the average sold price for a home right now, October 2021 in Apple Valley is $412,000. That is very affordable when you compare going down the hill, as we call it, which means down into the Inland Empire in LA, the home is more than double. So for many people, they can travel an extra 50 minutes and their home price cuts in half. Is it worth it for you? You've got to decide. But the, but the affordability of the homes in Apple Valley is a major, major plus. Next thing, elbow room. Many of the homes in Apple Valley have large lots. Most of the homes here in Apple Valley are not track homes. So they're bigger lots, they can be a half acre, they can be more, especially in the outskirts of Apple Valley. You have one, two acre plus lots. So I think that's a huge plus. If you're liking that kind of country style living where you have that room, that's a major, major positive. You're also close to skiing, surfing, and Las Vegas. So to give you an idea, you're an hour and a half from the beach, you're an hour from skiing and snowboarding at Bear Mountain and Big Bear, and you're three hours in Las Vegas. You can literally go surf, ski, and go to Vegas in the same day it's possible. So that is a huge plus, and it makes it um, really nice because there, there isn't a whole lot to do in Apple Valley, so being able to go to these different areas is really nice. Um, clean air, we have clean air here in Apple Valley. We don't have smog, so that's a huge plus. Once a year, maybe, or, or maybe twice a year, we will get one to two inches of snow in Apple Valley, depending on where you live. In the higher elevations of Apple Valley, you'll get it. Lower ones, you probably um, won't. But if you think it would be cool to have one to two inches of snow once a year, maybe twice a year, that's a huge pro for you. Myself, I love it. The desert is a beautiful place. It's a different type of place, but it does have its own sort of beauty. And when the desert is covered in snow and all white, it is so gorgeous. The sunsets, guys. Apple Valley, um, depending on where you're at, has the most gorgeous sunsets. The entire high desert has stunning sunsets, but man, um, gosh, I love the sunsets here. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, Off-roading, many of the areas in Apple Valley, you can hop on your dirt bike, your quad, your um, UTV, or your horse and ride out of your driveway into the hills or into the mountains. That is so Cool. So that's something, if you're an off-roader, also four by If you're a rock crawler, we have it here. We also have King of the Hammers, which is held out in Lucerne Valley, which is not far from Apple Valley. It is a major, major event. Um, there is 100,000 plus people that come together in the middle of nowhere in off-road. There's Roy, there's um, the score trucks are there. I mean, it, it is super cool. So if you're into off-roading, um, you'll definitely like that. Sunshine, we get a lot of sunshine, guys. In Southern California, we get the sun. Thank you, Lord, for the sun. Shopping, I believe that Apple Valley has the best and the safest shopping in the entire high desert. And I've lived in just about every single area of the high desert. Apple Valley has the best, specifically the Jess Ranch Marketplace and surrounding area where Bear Valley Road and Apple Valley meet. That is some of the best and the safest shopping. Second to that, I think, would be in Hesperia at the Super Target Center off of the 15 Freeway and Main Street. Um, but the Jess Ranch Marketplace, it has, it has a Target, it has a Winco, it has 24-Hour Fitness, it has a movie theater, it has sushi, nails, Stater Brothers, Walgreens, all that stuff. And um, as far as the high desert goes, it is, I think, the best shopping. And I say as far as the high desert goes, and that's because really the high desert doesn't have great shopping at all or, or um, nice stores, I should say, as far as Nordstrom and stuff like that, if that's what you're into. You're only about 15 to 25 minutes from the 15 freeway, so that's not too bad. Um, Bear Valley Road is the highest traffic road in the high desert. 
So if you live in Apple Valley, which is on the east side of the desert, you are gonna move west down Bear Valley Road to the 15 freeway, and then go south to go down the hill to Orange County area. Um, but 15 to 25 minutes and you're there. So if you say, Derek, I wanna live in the country, or I wanna have elbow room, and I'm willing to do that extra commute, Apple Valley is a great um, spot for you. Wintertime temps, the average daytime high is 59. That's only for a couple months. Besides that, it's, it's, it's warm. But in the wintertime, it definitely gets cold at night. Make no mistake about that. We do get below freezing temperatures in, in the night. But overall, when you look at it, it's Southern California. It is the desert. It is the high desert. But still, 59 is an average daytime high for a couple months a year. That's as cold as it gets. 60 is not bad. So. Let's talk about some of the cons of living in Apple Valley, California. Um, Apple Valley, California is pretty much the furthest city from the 15 freeway, meaning Victorville is closer, Vesperia is closer, Oak Hills is closer. So if you commute down the hill, as we call it, meaning on the 15 freeway south, Apple Valley is gonna be one of the furthest options. So it's gonna add maybe 45 minutes to an hour to your commute, as opposed to if you lived in Vesperia or Victorville right off the 15 freeway. The next con I have is it's windy in Apple Valley. It's windy in the entire high desert. If anybody tries to tell you that it's not windy in the high desert, they're lying to you or they just are ignorant, they don't know. Let me tell you, it's windy here. It's windy many of the days. So if you hate the wind, this is not the place for you. It's not uncommon to see gusts at 30 or 40 miles per hour. So it gets windy in the desert. Um, next thing, in the summertime guys, it gets 100 plus degrees in Apple Valley. It gets H-O-T hot. So if you don't like that heat, not the place for you. It is a dry heat, which they say is better than a real humid place. Um, so maybe that will make you feel better. Next con I have is no rain. And I think no rain is a negative because everything's brown. Very, very brown, can be depressing. I can tell you that a few years ago, me and my wife came back from Park City, Utah and um, it was about a week or two that we were in a serious funk just because of how brown everything is here. There's no, there's no rain, it's the desert. The only greenery that you're gonna get here is when the weeds are growing, that's it. So when the weeds grow, they're green, and then they die and it goes to brown. Even the tumbleweeds, they start out green, and the tumbleweeds go to brown. So um, if, you, if you wanna be somewhere where it's green and there's natural grass, this is not the place for you. It is the desert. So. Um, I talked about traffic. Overall, the traffic is very low in Apple Valley. The only traffic you're really gonna encounter is once you go into Victorville on, the, on Bear Valley Road. Um, but, there, but people do complain in Apple Valley, and say, man, it takes forever to get down Bear Valley Road to get to the freeway. It took me 30 minutes to get there. Yeah, it is what it is. I, mean, I don't know what else to say. Uh, school ratings. Um, if you're looking for the best of best schools, Apple Valley's probably not your place. Schools are rated on a one to 10 scale, 10 being, or 10 being the best, one being the worst. The schools are okay. You need to look, look at these different schools and determine which area is best for you. Um, crime, so total crime in Apple Valley is 22% lower than the national average, so that's good. Um, violent crime is 21% higher than the national average, so that's bad. <laughs> And property crime is 20%, 29% lower than the national average. So there obviously is some violent crime here in Apple Valley. I'm doing another video, or maybe I've already done it, it might be up here in the link, but um, about the best places to live in Apple Valley. And so I'm, actually, I'm doing that for every city up here in the high desert. Like I said, I've lived up here for over 20 years. I know every area of this place, like the back of my hand, I've drove, drove every single road, it feels like. And um, anyways, if you're thinking about moving to the high desert or if you're thinking about leaving the high desert, make sure that you contact me and me or someone on my team will help you uh, and make sure that you get the best service with the best results in a process that's enjoyable. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.